What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play account. We're going to see what we can get done today. One thing is, I think we got everything done in our monthlies. Uh, we have our Star Expedition kind of working our way through it. I think the store has refreshed for us, so more dark food is on its way. It seems like we can do this like once a week, maybe even more than that, and let's take a look at our dark food situation. So... We got another five star here, which is good. Um, actually, let me see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're getting really, really close here, right? Can we actually create a six star? No, we can't. Not yet. Because we're going to need three of these guys and or girls here. We got another... Das Moog, which that means we can make just like a Das Moog right now. And that's going to eat those food heroes, which is cool. Okay, so now we're sitting on the three six stars we need. And now we need a total of what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Nine. Technically eight more. So ugh, this is taking forever. Granted, we are still just barely off from getting you to V4. Like... <laughs> <laughs> just one sphere would do it and of course we just keep going in fate and screwing ourselves over left right and center instead of going guidance to get the guaranteed spheres <sighs> we'll get there soon though we will definitely get there soon we'll be able to put him in a house and then we'll be able to put like drake and then hopefully by then we'll be able to build the amon Ra we want because we do have four copies here i feel like we got a wait hold on we got Amon Ra copies here, right? Are they are they at the top now? Yeah, Amon Ra's are there. Man, I would hate to use these for like actual fodder heroes. Technically, we could even take like a Mockman out. Definitely don't want to do that. We got some resources at our disposal. But yeah, it looks like we got four chests for dark sitting here right now. Again, more resources, but I don't know what we're gonna use those for just yet. And um Let's take a look at our island right here because, of course, I think we're kind of like holding off our progression here so that we can put points into the next building, which I think is the smart thing. This one we went to 53. Didn't really mean to. Kind of want to put two points in it just to even it out, but I can't quite. I'll get that one to 54 eventually. Um, I don't want to use too many toolboxes here. I don't want to use too many. But I'm probably going to end up using like all of them. <laughs> Just getting them to nice even numbers here. Uh, this is going to be the oddball out. I think we're going to save the rest of the resources for Lord of Fear Aspen. But again, Lord of Fear Aspen has to be V4 in order to us. In order to us? In order for us to put it into. <laughs> in order to put them into a household and then start allocating tenants. So we still have some time for this. It's just, we're yeah, we're going to need. Eight more dark heroes. Honestly, if there is a profit orb event that comes up soonish, I might actually go for light and dark orbs. I know how stupid that sounds, but that might be the play for us. <sighs> if only the reward was like a dark hero too, but honestly, next week, we might be going in on it. We might just go for light and dark profit orbs, which is usually a very stupid thing to do for anybody, but... I'm hoping there's bonus rewards next week. I really want to save those profit orbs for more artifacts because right now we are sitting on one, two, three, and I think we have one more in the bag. No, we have three demon bells it looks like right now, and then we don't have anything in here. We're almost to another one here. Demon Bells, I feel like, are going to be one of the best strategies because I think one of the few places we can kind of progress right now, Aspen Dungeon, we'll have to check that the next time. I'd love to get out of Void Vortex to fire right now, but I just don't know if that's something that's even viable. Um, the one thing we will do, though, is we will smash through as much of this as possible because, of course, one of the possible rewards from doing this is Stellar Shards. And if we can get Stellar Shards, that would be absolutely amazing. I should probably watch and see what I'm actually doing here. 
Oh, getting these Davids feels bad. I think we just go for protection on just about every planet because one thing you kind of want to do, even if you're not ready to progress to another difficulty, just get as many of these planets done as possible. Don't just settle for the smash because you are missing out on resources. Oh man, this planet is giving us a pain in the butt. See right there, we get some additional stellar shards. It's not a ton, but it is some, and it does add up if you are manually clearing these things, which is a good bonus here. So if we can get lucky and get some more resources, that would be great. Um, I don't know how far we're going to make it. I hate that Olivia. It's that Olivia, isn't it? I think I'm actually going to have to reset this opponent to get the victory. But, I mean, you get a lot of stuff here, like an absolute ton. Our previous record was what? The fire three we cleared. Okay, that's not too bad. Again, if we can just clear out all these. Oh, my God, that one looks horrible. Um... Let's just start using our protection because we're not we're not pushing for the next difficulty right now. So we want to make sure, especially in three and four, we have that protection for our heroes. And the double Garuda is a little brutal for us here. Carries aren't as bad as long as there's no Garudas paired with them. But like it can still be absolutely horrible to try to clear out. And again, we're not going to waste any resources on here. We're not going to use any gems, anything like that until we're absolutely ready to progress further. I mean, that's pretty solid what we got going right here. But um, I guess it just depends on if those carries come back and use an active on us. Oh, wait. Why are you CC'd? That... That doesn't feel right. <laughs> that doesn't feel right at all being CC'd. Man, this is going to be so hard because the carries just keep coming back over and over again. Yeah, that's why this one is so difficult. Let me check the setup real quick. Ooh, yeah, he's still set up extremely offensive. I still want him to have control purify, I think. I don't remember. I must have been doing like Sealand or something like that. I can't remember what game mode we were doing that we had our team set up that way. But I feel like we should be able to win on this battle. Good. We got the Russell down immediately. That's going to be a lot of damage that we don't have to take here. <laughs> Literally, it's just... <laughs> Our star swords and Mogwin just spends every round just trying to kill the carries off. We got to take out those Sherlock. So those are the two really scary targets here. Oh no, this is not looking good whatsoever. We're running out of damage yet. Yeah, we're not going to get another active now with all of them. Oh, this one is going to be a pain. And then the other one over here is going to be just as big of a pain. It seems like we previously beat this level, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it today. We did kill one of the Garudas. Was that actually a very good thing? The other Garuda is taunted and feared, which is awesome. So if we can kill her off, I think that just means we get the victory now. Which I'll take it. Which means we get better rewards at the end of the week too. So again, using these attacks are important for two reasons. One is to get the additional resources. The other one is this actually progresses your soul awakening quest system by using these extra attacks. Um, are we somehow going to lose to this Ada? I didn't think that would be possible, but it kind of looks like it might be going that way. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Lord of has been given a little bit of chip damage, but until he's actually leveled up and everything, he's still going to be weak. We got two attempts. Let's see. Can we clear it out? Yes, we got it on the first try, which is awesome. Let's see if we can clear one planet into fire three right now, because again, your end of the week rewards depend on what you cleared out. It's not a big difference, but it's definitely a difference. So let's see. Definitely don't want to fight that one. Nope. Maybe. Maybe. I like this one. This one we're going for here. Give us the W. Come on. Kill the penny, kill the penny. Oh, no, she's got armor. She's going to get... Wait, no. Wait, yeah. Darn it. <laughs> I think she's going to get reflect armor up, which might just melt us. No, surprisingly, we lived. Okay, this is looking pretty solid for us, actually. Somehow, this Ignis is still alive, and I don't know how that's the thing. Oh, no. Don't let the penny get an attack... Or not the penny. Don't let the Garuda get an attack off now. This could be really bad for us. I don't think our Aspen has the damage to beat this. Yeah, no. So we'll have to see. We still got like a couple days to get more rewards. 
I doubt that was enough to give us another point in our tree, right? Yeah, not even not even close. It was like, I think we got like 20,000 or something though, so that's better than nothing. And like I said, on top of that, it did push our quest system here to give us more gems. So yeah, we're in a good spot. Hopefully you guys enjoy us and let me know how your free to play accounts are going still. And I'll see you guys next time.